Hey best friends, welcome back to my channel. So, Wes Kiss sent me some hair. I have four bundles. The longest length is 28 inches and the shortest length is a 24 and a 20 inch frontal. And they also sent me like a hair wrap. I am going to do a compilation of watch me make my wigs, okay? So, this is body wave texture and I'm going to show you just how I make my wigs. Um, this is not going to be a talk through because I have a video that's detailed and explains how I do this. So if you want to see it, I will link it at the end of this video. And I will also put it in the description box. So I'm going to make a wig and install it right now. If you want to see that, stay tuned. Bye, you guys. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do a talk through, but I am. Okay, so I'm just going to hit some key points in this video. Again, if you want to see a detailed um tutorial of how I do this then I will link one at the end of this video so this is the dome cap I love using dome caps instead of wig caps because I can find dome caps in different sizes and I'm just going to apply my frontal so I can do the outline of where it's going to sit and then I'm gonna remove it after I outline it with my sharpie So after the frontal outline is done, I am going to do my grid lines. You guys always see me do the grid lines when I make wigs. And that's because it helps me keep, you know, everything neat and tidy when I'm doing my sewing machine method. Or even hand handmaids. But, you know, when I do my sewing machine method, it takes me 15 minutes to make an actual wig. So I love using my sewing machine. And I like to double my tracks. I am going to use four, all four bundles in this wig. So I am going to double my tracks so I can fit every single last bundle into this wig. And now I'm just going to use my sinker sewing machine and sew everything together. Again, this takes me like 15 minutes. It's very fast, very neat. I like to, again, double my tracks because I just don't have time to just single track all of these. If you want to single track your wig, then that's up to you. But it's the same thing. You are not going to see any kind of gaps or anything like that. It's very neat and well put together.
this is what my wig looks like after I'm finished sewing all four bundles on there. Um, I like to do it this way uh, because if you were to mess up your frontal or you needed to replace your frontal, you could easily cut your frontal off and re put it a new one on there. So um, I'm going to add my frontal on there now. You, I'm going to hand stitch it because it's easier for me to do it that way. And then I'm going to go back in with my sewing machine and, uh, you know, secure it, super secure it. But like if I, you know, started balding or um, if my frontal started balding or it was just time for me to change my frontal, I could easily just cut that piece off. Because it's not connected to the, the the bundles and I can exchange it for a new frontal so yeah so I, I give my customers that options as well and all you want to do is cut off the excess cap that's underneath and after you cut it off this is what my wig looks like underneath So this wig or the frontal did not come with bleach knots but it did come with a pre-plucked hairline so that was a good thing so i did go in and bleach my knots now that day i was going to catch a, a plane i was going to the east coast so um i was kind of in a rush because i have to be at the airport in like three hours from me filming this video <laughs> so yeah i was just uh, breezing through this whole situation um so yeah i am going to bleach my knots i left the bleach on there for about 25 Five minutes uh, I use quick blue and 30 volume developer and after I rinsed it out I use my Garnier Fruity shampoo and I use purple shampoo to tone out the brassiness and this is what it looks like after it was pressed and ready to be applied all right, I'm going to take my 91% alcohol and clean my hairline. Cause So I was going to the East Coast, of Philly. I went to Philly. And um, I wanted to make sure that my wig was secure. Because you guys know I've been loving my got to bleed glue method. But this time I just needed to make sure my wig was going to stay on. So um, I used my bold hold method. So what I did was clean my hairline. I'm going to take my blow boho active and I'm going to put thin layers and I'm going to apply up to three layers on my hairline. The key with this is you want to make them thin. You want your layers very thin. So that's what I'm doing because once they're thin, they dry faster, they get clear faster, um, and it won't seep through your lace. So thin layers is the key. I've been loving my Ruby Kisses. I've actually been using a darker shade, which has been looking very bomb on my skin tone. So I'm in the shade 16, and I'm just going to put a little bit on the hairline of the lace just to blend it in. This is a quick way of toning your lace to match it um, instead of using, like, you know, sprays 
uh, lace tints and things of that nature I do have a video of that on my channel as well if you want to learn how to make lace tint but yeah I'm just using the Ruby Kisses and I'm not putting a lot of makeup on there I'm just like dusting it on there so it could just tint it a little bit I do not want to cake that makeup on there because if you do the bow hold and the lace will not stick together so I'm going to line up the hairline with my hairline and I'm not going to super push the lace in until I'm for sure this is where I want it to sit. I'm going to take my blow dryer, blow dry it on warm and use a comb just to push the two together. Once the blow dryer hits that lace and that glue, they're going to melt together. All right, And you're pushing it in with a comb. So now that my lace is situated, I am going to take my scissors and I'm going to make little slits in the lace so it's easier for me to cut off. And after that, I'm going to take my eyebrow razor and cut the excess lace off. So I did do some baby hairs and I am going to take my got to be hairspray just to secure the hairline super down and make sure that everything is laying super flat. So I like to spray, spray that around my hairline and my handy dandy lace grip. I love using this. It's super easy. I'm going to leave this down in the description box too because everybody, all of y'all need one of these. And I am going to just let that spray sit on my hairline until it fully dries which is like a couple of minutes. And I'm going to take my Care Care Wax, put it on my the top of my hair so I can make sure that all the flyaways is laying down. Press my hair down just to make sure that it's super silky and neat looking it has that nice little luster uh, I love using my hot comb and then I am going to use the got to be free spray again I'm gonna spray it on the back of my hand rub it together and um, put it on the top just so everything could be flat I left my baby hairs molded because I was getting on the plane I was do catching a red eye so um, I just figured like the following day I'll comb them out and it'll be fine I just did not want to you know uncomb them and then in the, and when I get off the airplane they'll be all frizzy and all over the place so I did leave them exactly how it was and so this is what my hairline look is looking like I'm just making sure that um you really couldn't see the lace and this is regular lace this is not HD lace but yeah so my baby hairs are very plastered right now but it's okay because the following day they was looking cute and this is 28 inches and I am about 5'3 so 28 inches is very very long on me and yes I was rocking this hair all through the east coast um yeah and so if you guys have any questions or concerns leave them down in the description box thank you West Kiss for sending me this hair and you guys tell me what what other videos you guys want to see because I am curious we need some more ideas going on drop them down in the comment section bye best friends